Hey, pen people. I finally bought a lav mic. So hopefully my audio is much better going forward and I don't have to play with the levels in my editing so much. And yeah, hopefully it'll just be much better moving forward. Today, we are going to talk about the Kaveco Sport Iridescent Pearl. And I was cautiously optimistic, cautiously excited about this video because if you've been around my channel for a while, you know that I tried a Kaveco Sport about a year ago and it was kind of a terrible experience. <laughs> um, it wrote beautifully at first and then the skipping and the hard starting just came out of nowhere and it just seemed like the pen was fine if you let it sit for a while, let the feed get all nice and saturated and then you write for like a paragraph and then it just completely gives out, can't keep up. And I was cautious about buying a Kaveco Sport in the first place because I had heard about people having problems, but I decided to go for it and I had problems. But a lot of people really love these pens and this Iridescent Pearl edition came along and it's super pretty and I've been eyeing it for months and I finally decided, what the heck, I'm gonna try again. So I tried again. So I'm gonna unbox it with my almost three-year-old. I've actually already done that, did that a couple days ago, but um, in a second we'll switch over to that footage and you can uh, kind of see my first impressions um, and my daughter's first impressions of this pen. Since making that video, I have run into the same exact problem that I had with my other Kaveco Sport. But thankfully I am learning, I, I know a lot more about pens now, and I think I fixed it. Maybe it skips every once in a while, but I'm pretty sure I fixed it. So um, if you want to know more about how I did that, let me know in the comments, because depending on interest, I do plan on hopefully making a video about how to fix that problem. So yeah, let me know. The last thing I wanna say before jumping into it is that I bought this pen from Trufe Pens, and they are pretty awesome. I bought it on a Friday morning, and it showed up on a Monday like through the weekend, they, they shipped it so fast, same day. It was amazing. Um, so they are a really cool company. I've bought from them a few times and yeah, so I, I recommend them. Okay. Without further ado, let's dive into my first impressions of the Kaveco Sport Iridescent Pearl. Okay. Are you ready, Lila? Yeah. Okay. Let's do this. Okay. Be very careful because I have a knife. Let's see. Here it's, I'll slit it open down here because I think the pen's on the other end. Oh yeah, Lila, what do you think is in here? Um, a pen. Yeah, I just spoiled it, didn't I? Pen, pen, pen. You are right. Can I um, get that pen out for you? Sure. Reach in there. Oh, what, yeah, what else is in there? Okay. Actually, let me grab this stuff. So. Aha, a coupon code. That's actually something I used. Just a second. I used a coupon code when I bought this pen. So that is fun. It's just a 5% off one. Yeah. But if you're buying something expensive, that can add up. And even if you're not, that can be kind of nice. So thank you, Trufe, for that. Um, a nice handwritten note here. Yeah. Um, packing slip. Okay. This is the pen. Can I open it for you? Let's see. Can I open it for you? What did I just do with my knife? That's dangerous. Oh, there it is. Oh, did you pop some bubbles? Here, let's bring it back here. All right, let's open that. Okay, now can you do it? Can you unroll it? There we go. Okay. Just a second, bring it back over here so that everyone else can see in the camera. Okay, so Lila, what is that? Um, I don't know. It's a pen, it's in its box. It's really shiny, huh? So this is fun because this Kaveco Sport comes in kind of a pearlescent box. Oh, you wanna pop the bubbles? Yeah. How about we pop those after the video? Okay. Okay, sounds good. So, it's just a simple, small box. Of course, it's not really that important, but it's a fun touch that they kind of made the box match the iridescent pearl pen. 
Um, okay, so let's take this out and see what this new Kaveco Sport looks like. Okay. Oh. Oh. Can you grab it? Mm -hmm. Whoa! Here, bring it over here. Wow. What color is it? Let's see what's inside. Okay, are you going to unscrew it? Ooh, what do you see? <laughs> yeah, very cool. It's interesting because, um, and I don't really know how my camera is going to behave with this color. Everyone says it's really hard to catch on camera, and I guess it is. But um, a lot of the photos you'll see online are very blue or very pink or whatever. But this, I, I think the main color is just kind of white, translucent white. Uh, it doesn't have ink yet. We have to do the ink still. So um, it, it does look fairly white, but I think that it's when it catches the light at different angles, that's when um, you start to get some of that color. And I can see some of that in there. I'll have to play around with it, take it into the sun, um, look at it. But my first impressions are that this is a much prettier pen than the first one. I got. I, I really like this. This is nice. So um, to test it, I'm just going to use the cartridge that it comes with. Oop. I'm definitely not a fan of how that squeaks. I think it'll go away eventually. Um, but uh, yeah, it's okay. If I really want to, I can put some silicone grease on there or something. Mm. It'll be fine. Hey, Lila, let's leave that there for just a second. Do you want to help me with the ink? Yeah. All right, let's put this ink in here and test it out. And we will see if this one does any better than my last one. Um, though, honestly, it's going to take some time. Can you push it for me? Make mm -hmm. sure it's really good in there. There we go. What color is that? Um, blue. Yeah, that's blue, huh? So I'll give this a little squeeze here. So the last one I got was a fine, a fine nib, but it yeah, it, it was super smooth. I liked the line, but it just didn't work out. And from what I've heard, it seems like people have the Ow. best luck. Did you bonk your head? Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. Seems like people have the best luck with medium nibs with these pens, um, as far as like if you want a finer nib. Um, medium is a good way to go, um, even though it's not obviously as fine <laughs> as a fine nib. Um, so I decided to go with a medium. I'm kind of leaning that direction anyway these days. So we'll see how that does, and I'll eventually put up another video um, to update you on how it went. Um, let's see. But let's test this out really quick. Let's see. Let's see if I have enough ink flowing through there yet. Nope. One thing is, what? Look at this. What are you doing? You're shaking my hair. You're shaking your hair? <laughs> um, one thing though that I am noticing about this is just, I think that this translucent pearlescent color is going to hide some of the scratches that were so noticeable on just the clear gray demonstrator version I had before. So um, I think this pen um, from a longevity perspective, my guess would be this pen is going to look nice for quite a while, even if it does get some scratches, because it is kind of a soft plastic, but um, but I think it's going to do okay. Um, wow, I forgot how comfortable these things were in the hand. That's really nice. Come on, Ink. Where are you? Come on, buddy. Aha, there we go. Now we're getting there. There we go. There we go. Okay, so that ink is coming good through there. If I remember correctly, it was on one of the strokes. I was really struggling with some hard starts on the other one, um, as well as it just kind of eventually trickling out altogether. But um, down strokes are good. Left and right strokes are good. Yeah, I think this is a better nib, a much better nib. And honestly, I don't think it's that much thicker. I mean, it's a little thicker than my fine was, but it's still, it's not like some mediums I have that are just huge and juicy. It's like maybe on the finer side of medium. So that's nice. Um, yeah, and it's, 
honestly fairly wet, which I was not expecting because my last one was pretty dry, I think. So that's nice. I'm, I'm really excited because like I said in my last video about the Kaveco Sport, I really do like a lot of things about the Kaveco Sport. It's a cool pen, but it just was not working out for me. So um, it's cool to see that um, already, I think my experience is much different with this one. So that is very cool. Um, so hopefully it will um, be much better for me. Okay, well, um, I think that's about it for this video. Just a short little unboxing. Um, and again, I will follow up later on if anything happens with this pen and maybe to do a more thorough review of it as well. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions and I'll talk to you later. Bye.